Hi my people, long time. Today I'm back with another special episode. In today's video, I want to tell you more about US visa, especially B1, B2. If you are looking for tourism visa, if you are looking for business visa, I want to tell you the best steps of what you have to follow if you are looking for this visa and what can be the best tips for you to get the visa. So first of all, one thing I can tell you is many people apply for US visa, but it's a small percentage of people get the visa. So uh, me, I was among all those people also who were wondering, how can I get a US visa? How can I do it? And last year, I said, okay, let me take some short period to learn more about US visa, and then I can go and apply for my visa. I did it, and finally I get my tourism visa, 10 years visa, which I think is really enough for someone who is young, someone who is looking for, you want just have freedom for traveling. If you have 10 years visa to go to the US, it means you can go there anytime, whenever you feel like you are ready or you want to go there. So which I think it gives you the flexibility and you can just do your things, you know. So uh, for me, uh, today I want to tell you that my, I want to share with you my personal experience, what I used and how I get it. And so this can help you. Or if you have any clarification, if you'll be looking for more information, more than what I'm going to share, please let me know. So the first step is about to know what are you going to do in the U.S. Because people go to the U.S. with different purpose. Some people, they go for tourism. Some people can go for medical issues. Some people can go there for business. So for B1, B2, you have to know exactly what you want. And then after knowing what you want, today, let's, let me give you an example about tourism. If you are looking for tourism, uh, there are, here we go with two options. One is either you are going to, to go there just randomly, you, maybe you have been traveling to other countries and you feel like, oh, let me go to the U.S. Or maybe there's an event which is taking place in the U.S. and you have to attend it. So if, if you are going for your own, like for, for your own and no one, you, don't, you don't have any connection with anyone there, you just need to show the, the immigration about your bank statement, about the proof that you come back, uh, so about the proof of what you are currently doing in your country where you are, either if you're in your country or another country. So let's focus on the case of saying you have someone there or there's an event there. So in case there's an event there or you have someone there who is going to, like maybe to say like to, to invite you for the trip, it is going to be much better and much easier for immigration to understand that this person is going there, he has uh, relatives or he has connection. After they, this given period, he will come back. So um, for me, I just, I had my sister. My sister was studying in the US. So it was a good time, especially even the same. It's almost the same month. This last time for me, I did it in March. Now we're already in April. So this is a good time because most of the students are graduating. And when they're graduating, they are allowed to invite their relatives, to invite their families to come to attend the, the ceremony, the graduation ceremony. And, you know, the, the best thing for here is the school will give you the official invitation letter. It's not from the student. Instead, the school will just, the student will go to the school office and tell them, oh, I want to invite my parents, I want to invite my siblings to come to my graduation. And then the school will give you a letter, we give the, the person the letter and then the letter they will be signed like a have a stamp from the school and everything say this is a special event for my our student and uh, he or she would like to invite the, her relatives to come and attend. So after they, you get the invitation, it's the one way to go. So after you get the invitation, now there's a given percentage or a given chance that you may get a visa. So you get the invitation and then the next step is about to think about the bank statements, the other documents. Before continue, I hope you are enjoying this video. So if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe. Let's grow this community. Let's have big number. Ah, Tasho da Pegyo. Pegyo, Pegyo. Show, subscribe. Show, subscribe. 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 Ah, Subscribe. Subscribe. Ah, what the thing you <laughs> So uh the most important thing I want to say that what we have to focus on is two things. Now we already understand what the documents you need. You need your invitation letter, you need bank statement, and you need to understand or to know why and where are you going so after that the next step will be about filling uh, online application forms first the first thing that we feel is 
DS160. This is like the way you can fit on an application for visa if in other countries. If you just go online, you write uh, on an application DS160. So you will get it on Google or any browser you use. Then you will fill that form. After you fill that form, they will give you uh, it's like a receipt like uh, detailing your information showing that you fill the application and if it's done. So when that's done, the next step will be about to fill VFS Global. This one is like a it's common uh, platform or website that you can use if you are looking for booking an appointment, filling applications in other countries. So when you when you when you go to this VFF Global, they will ask you where are you based and then where do you want to go. So uh, you will just put the information. Maybe for me, I'm currently in China. I say I'm in China. I'm going to the US, and then they will show me different US consulate in China. They will ask you we, we, which one do you want to use when you are applying. Then you fill the information and then after filling the information, before you book appointment, they will ask you to pay. The price for US visa is just $160. So you pay the money and then when you pay the money, you, you'll be able to book the appointment. So the purpose of appointment is to go to the immigration or to go to the consulate with your documents, all the documents we said in the previous sections. So you go with all your documents, then they will ask you different questions. And then the immigration officer, immigration officer can tell you, okay, we give you visa or not. So on the day of interview few things that you need to know is you don't need to think too much and you don't need to explain too much because the question they ask at the immigration is simple and easy it's just like where are you going what are you going to do how long are you going to stay there what do you do uh, maybe if you're in another country if you are in another country rather than where you were born what what are your current job what do you do here or if you if you are in your country what are you doing so they can understand the, your current status or the source of income and everything so from there and then maybe they will ask you who is going to sponsor this trip and then if you are yourself you say i'm the one if you have someone there we say this person is going to sponsor my trip and then they will tell you okay show, show us your bank statement the person doesn't have time to check everything so it's better to go prepared with it with every document they may ask but again it's just the interview and there are a lot of people behind you so it's not like you're going to spend one hour or two hours with the immigration officer in the interview. No, it's just five to ten minutes. They will ask you simple questions. You answer the questions. Then they, at the end, the immigration officer will be like, okay, you got a visa. So <laughs> leave your passport here and then you come back to take it maybe after three days or five days. Or if you are unlucky, they will tell you, oh, sorry, we didn't give you a visa. So in that way, you just have to go back home and maybe you try the second chance. But for me, what I'm telling you, you can get this visa. The most important is it's about your previous travel history. You have to build that. You have to show them like, oh, I have been here, I have been here, and I just go, if I go to another country, I come back. That's A. Another way, if you don't have a chance to go to other countries, also you have to show them that you have the, you have reasons for you to come back to your country or where you are. In this way, we say, for example, either about your job, you may show them that you have a stable job. So if you go to America, you spend a given period and come back. Or maybe if you're a student and maybe they show that what you are studying is very important. And to them, if I go to America, I'm going to do this and that. I have to come back. They may understand. And also, if you have a business, if you have something you're doing in your country, you just have to show them that you are stable. Your current status in the country where you are, you show them that I'm stable. I'm financially stable. So I'm going to America for this given purpose. And after this period, I'll come back. So that's what you need to put in mind. That's how you have to do it. So the next step is I'm going just to show you all those two applications. DES160 and VFC Global. How we do it. So I'm just trying to go quickly to show you one and one. So you can see how in case you have time and you want to apply, you will know how we can do it. Let's go. So now we are going to start with this uh, DS160. So this is how it looks. You can see if you search online and write DS160, we will automatically get online and immigrant visa application DS160. So you have to click on it so you can log in. When you log in, they will just tell you it's like a start stating, like a starting. When you start, they will ask you which country are you in, and then you put this code, and then you start application. If you already did application, you can just save. So here I was just uh, showing you the way you can start for the first user. But if you come back after that given period, you can just continue the retrieve, retrieve the application. So here, this is what you can see. Like when you go there, they will show you different information. They show you basic information, your travel, your family. So you have to fill all those sections. When you're done with filling all those sections, then you will be able to, to finish the application. Then you can go to the next step. Next step is about filling VFS Global. 
So VFS Global, when you search on Google, you get it. When you log in, you just see they will give you different categories where they tell you like you can see visa information, you can pay the fee, you can uh, like family members in case you are going with other people. And then if you have an appointment, they will show you like how you are like this is the appointment you have when it's coming. Or if you already get the visa and they tell you they will send your document, your passport to you back using like uh, Express. So you will see the, doc the delivery information. So uh, here, um, that's what I can tell you. So here you will just log in. Then for, as I've said, we have, we have a few steps. Uh, one step will be you need to know your visa, know your visa type, you complete your application, pay visa fees, schedule the appointment. To pay the, the appointment, to schedule the appointment, you have to pay that $160 before you go there. And then you attend the interview. And then after the interview, you get the visa and then you track your passport like in case you don't get it automatically because sometimes you can go there and tell them maybe and I, I really i have to travel tonight or tomorrow so i need to get my passport as soon as possible then they give you the passport with visa on the same day so that the five steps you have to follow so here i just want to show you a few things uh, in case you want to know more so you can see here you just uh, start new application if you are the first user you can start a new application or schedule the appointment so here that's where you put all your information and an immigrant then you you add like where you want to take the interview like which place you select the place you want based on your country and then from there you just add other few information about yourself about your you and then the next step will be to go to interview so i think that's what i can tell you in summary for someone who want to go there and remember always when you are feeling here you have to know it's just b1 b2 which is visitor for business or pleasure so this is the visa and when you get this visa always mostly they give you 10 years which means 10 years with multiple entry you can go there you spend six months they say if you go there for like if i go there now i can just spend six months and then i come back so that's what you need to know and if you need any more information let me know and if you feel this topic is interesting let me know and i can share my personal experience in america i spent there like more than three months as someone who was in china for more than five years going to america i think it was two complete different environment different countries so let me know if you are interested then i will share my honest opinion on how i have seen america what i enjoyed the most what I didn't like so all those i can just make it on the second video so guys see you in the next video and let me know in a comment what do you wish you can see in the next video and don't forget to subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet because we are here and i'm here to give you all the information regarding usa regarding china how people are living what they like so if you really feel interested in my content don't forget to subscribe bye bye and take care